I'd like to tell the full story of my uh, my critic, my somewhat uh, intemperate, intemperately behaved critic from last night, um, from the previous video. Uh, I'd like to paint paint a fuller picture of um, what went down for those who are interested. Um, and I'll probably end up writing about this because it was uh, it was somewhat harrowing, but it was definitely interesting. I showed up early for this event, um, and when I came in, there were just a, a few people in the bar, and um, this bar has. As I've said, I might have said before, it has a pool room that's sort of that's adjoining. It's not a separate room. It's 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 just uh, like a, a step up from the room where the bar is and where the setup for the for the open mic comedy is. And so there were a few people in the pool room, and I just sort of stepped in there for a minute, and was looking around because, like I said, I was there early. I was just. I don't know, wandering around because because there wasn't much to do, just just taking in the sights, and suddenly I heard this voice say, "I like your shirt," and I looked down and it's the same shirt I'm wearing today, it's my Duran Duran shirt, uh, and uh, I look up and it's this young man. Uh, with uh, long, uh, like sort of uh, like, like Pink Floyd in the 70s kind of hair, you know, uh, long and straight hair, you know, looking very much like a girl's hair, and uh, uh, like, you know, beyond shoulder length. You, you know, you saw the guy. I think it was a guy. I'm pretty sure it was a guy. Um, although I don't know what his what his pronouns are, <laughs> but anyway, uh, so I, I said, "Oh, thanks." And I thought thought to myself, "Oh, that, that seems like a nice kid." Um, so, you know, but I didn't think very much else of it. So, uh, so later on, I I, uh, I do my set and. Uh, you can watch or you can hear uh, the set as it's recorded, as I recorded it. <clears throat> Audio only. I don't have anybody there to, to videotape me. So uh, I don't have an entourage most of the time. But, uh, but I, did, I, I did my set and I was afterwards just, just uh, standing near the, the steps that go up this is a this is a bar where you take steps down it's sort of a basement bar um, so I was standing near these steps and this other guy came up and, and it was this this nice guy this young man from Colombia uh, who had started doing comedy he, he told me that he asked me about how I was doing with my mother which I thought was very nice and considerate uh, he revealed that his he had lost his brother last year um, and uh, so uh, you know we, we, we talked a little bit about that he, he told me uh, good job and you know sort of uh, and I, I was you know just 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 talking to him but, but I, I wasn't aware but you know it was it was in my periphery but I wasn't aware until later that this guy this young man, who the one who told me he liked my Duran Duran shirt earlier, was standing behind uh, behind the guy I was talking to, um, and just sort of looking looking unhappy, uh, <laughs> looking a little looking kind of bitchy, but I didn't notice him. Um, and I didn't no notice that he was that, that, that he was uh, 
aiming his his look at me, um, and he finally had to say something to get my attention. And I think he said something like, "Excuse me," and I'm not exaggerating. You know, this, this sounds like I'm, you know, making fun of him. I'm exaggerating the way he talks to make fun of him. But if you watch that video, this is <laughs> this is not an exaggeration. Um, so he was like, "Excuse me." You want to tell, talk about that Nazi set that you just did, or something like that? I, I, it, it, he, he, he mentioned me being a Nazi, um, and uh, I said my my Palestinian wife. He mentioned having a Palestinian wife, which, as I said, as many of you noted, it's surprising. But then again, I don't know uh, what his pronouns are, and I don't know uh, the pronouns of his his wife either, so keep that in mind. You just don't know, you can't assume anything these days. Um, but but he, he was he was angry, he was pissed off, he, he, he was offended, uh, and, and he was just just uh, unhinged, as, as you saw him in the video. And I, I thought to myself, and I was taken aback, and of course not, I, I, it was distressing. Um, but I also thought to myself, I've got my, I've got my camera. Uh, you know, this this should go on film. I want to, I want to videotape this. Um, this is a, this is an interesting specimen to, to sort of contain, uh, to, to to put in a jar and look at, um, as it were. So, <laughs> so I stepped up the step so that we wouldn't. Um, be interrupting the the, the comedian because there's already people talking at the bar. It's a real problem at this place. Um, there, you, you've probably heard it if you watched my set. There's a, there's a, there's a lot of chatter. There's not enough. Um, I mean, there there are there are people actually paying attention and watching watching the people watching the comedians perform, but uh, but there's always also just a lot of chatter. It's very distracting, and and the, and, the, and the people in the pool room are you're not paying any attention, and and they're also talking, and so it's 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 really not an optimal situation. So I didn't want to just have this guy going off angrily and loudly at me. Uh, I didn't want any more distractions for the whoever was performing at that point. So I I went up the steps and I. I got out my camera and, and uh, uh, put on the. I uh, I hit uh, record, and um, so that's why when you see the video, it's it's I'm uh, I'm basically uh, facing down. You know, it's, it's because I'm up on a, a flight. Uh, you know, a few steps up. And, and he's down there because he's not, he wasn't going to move. He wasn't going to do anything for me. And I just said, well, I just think it's polite to, for the performers on stage. Um, so that's why I moved. He stayed, he stayed put. And you saw the exchange. And, and you saw just how, uh, how incoherent his objections were. This is what still stands with me. I mean, he's just some guy, in a way, so it should be just sort of a... I, I, I understand those of you saying, you know, Wiki, what do you care? It's just some some crazy fruitcake. What, what, what does it matter? Yeah, but he's representative of something, isn't he? I mean, can, can, can you deny... Can you deny that he's not representative of, uh, of, of a certain segment of the population right now? Um, I'm not indicting all of Gen Z because my uh, my kids are Gen Z and they're both great and most and their friends for all I know are all fine but but this guy was not fine this guy had some problems so um, what, what I found most weird was that he was wanting to ha to attack me like, like he, he was he was wanting to get angry with me 
for somehow insulting his Palestinian wife by talking about the five dancing Israelis. And I was thinking to myself, wait a minute, you're pro-Palestinian. You should, you should like that I, uh, that I uh, made fun of the five dancing Israelis, or that I, that I wanted to, to draw attention to the five dancing Israelis. And it, it was really strange to me that, that uh, talking about some aspect of, uh, you know, something that that alleges uh, an Israeli connection to 9/11, which is what the five dancing Israelis are, are all about. Um, among other things, uh, if you look them up, I'm not going to talk about it here, but that's that's uh, that's the reference. Um, so so he's he, this 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 guy, you know, he's like a an angry young leftist. He's all he's all um, upset about what's happening in Gaza. He said the the God the genocide in Gaza, the genocide in Gaza, and I was like, what? I didn't talk about the genocide in Gaza, you idiot. I didn't say you idiot, but that's what I was thinking. Um, I said the talk about the five dancing Israelis. So how are you offended at me talking about something that alleges Israeli Israeli complicity in 9/11 uh, when when your your point of reference is uh, that you have a Palestinian wife and you're uh, and you're against what Israel's doing in Gaza right now? It just made no sense. It it, it, it was like he wanted to have. And he also wanted, he also said anti-Semitic. Like you're, you're wanting to call me anti-Semitic. You're wanting to you, you wanting to throw that that uh, uh, you know, hit me with that cudgel, uh, while also <laughs> I mean, while also being uh, like uh, talking about. God, the Gaza genocide. Um, you know, pick a lane. You know, pick a lane and stay there. Um, but but he, so he somehow was. It was like I I, I, I got him to, to say, well, yeah, okay, that, that that's true. That the dancing Israelis uh, do point out something bad about the is the state of Israel, and I'm against what the state of Israel is doing. But but then you started talking about the vaccine, and like so so because I made fun of my, my final gag was you know about uh, how many vaccinated people does it take to change a light bulb, and the, the punchline was uh, we don't know because they keep dying, um, and and that that uh, got under his skin because I was sounding like a conspiracy theorist. Like a Nazi conspiracy theorist, or uh, you know, a far right conspiracy theorist, or something. It's just, uh, and, and like he was wanting to get me canceled. Like he was, he was wanting to talk to the management. Like he went over and talked to someone, and then said to me, "They're going to be talking to you in a minute." <laughs> like, like I just got you in trouble. The pretty, you know, I just. I, like this, this, this hall monitor mentality. Like, you know, I tattled on you, and now you're in trouble. Ha ha ha! Um, it's so childish. It really is incredibly childish. For for and for what? Like for for saying things that he didn't like. And and, and again, a part of a, a, a part of the uh, our exchange, as you'll recall, was. Uh, that um, you know, I said uh, it might not have been on video. He said, "What was that? Were you, why were you saying things like that?" And I said, "That was freedom of speech." You know, and he said, "Well, look, if I spat in your face right now, would that be freedom of speech? If I spat on you right now, would that be freedom of speech?" And I was thinking, "No, that would be assault." <laughs> But I, I was actually thinking he was going to hawk to it on me. I, I, I didn't know it was going to happen, but at least I had the upper upper ground, the higher ground. I have the higher ground, Anakin. Um, 
so we were we were able to avert any spittle flying. Um, and that's that. I mean, just 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 a weird, weird show, weird, uh, weird event. Now, I, I did, you know, I, I did sort of let it rip that night. I did decide I was gonna just just go all go all red pill um, with my material, which I haven't really done yet. It was, that was the first time I had actually done that. Um, so, I mean, I guess you know you gotta expect consequences. But it was just, it's just strange when you're, when the, the person who hates you for what you said can't even really nail down what you said that was so bad, but knows, knows that you're just a bad, you're an asshole, you're a bad person, and, and he wants to, he wants to see to it that, that something is done with you. Um... Now, I mean, this this kid, you know, he was he's a skinny, skinny weakling, you know. But but uh, but he's when you, when you got all that kind of anger, uh, even even a you know a little 110 pound uh, you know skinny uh, little boy or what or however he identifies, you know, they, they they could still cause damage, you know, they could still become a whirling dervish of violence. Um, I could easily, like he was, he was a hair's breadth away from just, just going off, you know, and, uh, I mean, I, I'd like to, I mean, I'd like to think I could probably have overpowered him, but I, I'm not, uh, <laughs> I'm not, I, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't have the, 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 the anger and the vitriol within me that he had towards me at that moment. Um, you know, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't, um, uh, hepped up on, on, uh, you know, like this, it's sort of almost like a drug, this kind of hatred that they have, uh, this, this kind of, um, uh, uh, hatred and contempt and revilement and, um, just whatever activates. So, um, it just fizzled out. Nothing happened. A uh, couple other people tried to talk him down. One one guy said, "Look, it's just comedy, man. Just take it easy." <laughs> um, which you might have seen at the end of the video, but still, uh, it's one of those things that I just, um, I just wanted to to make a record of it, and I wanted to make a record of my reflections on it, for better or for worse. So, uh, so those are my thoughts on that exchange, and. Uh, Thanks for watching.